Share new innovations with us. Learn innovation. Enjoy knowledge. Know new trends. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะ Uh, welcome everyone to PSU Hajai to Global Business. I am Nana. Ka. And I'm Arno. And I'm Ajahn Kim. Ka. And today we have a special guest as always. Ka. Associate Professor Matana Chai Suthipan or Ajahn Bob ka, with us today. Welcome. Ka. Ka. Welcome. Ka. Ka. Welcome. Ka. And also we also have another special guest as well. Our lovely student. Ka. Um, we pretty much have a very be beautiful Student in our faculty. So welcome, Long Tang or Kayani. Thank you so much for the um the representative. Uh, thank you so much. And to the representative of this event named Falling in Food Festival today. Very good, Kha. So we're gonna talk about falling in food afterward. Na Kha, Long Tang or so she's gonna be here and promote our uh, event that organized by student. Na Kha. Okay, but before we start into the uh, fruitful discussions, Naka, we like to update you all with our achievement in our faculty. Wow. Previously, Naka, after COVID subside, we have so much going on. So I cannot really cover everything. I probably just going to pick only the most outstanding news and something to be recognized about. So let me start with the first achievement that we actually really pleased about, which is just now, Ajahn Kim already uh, address นะคะ address อาจารย์มัทนาชัยอาจารย์ป๊อบนะคะว่า associate professor ใช่ไหมคะ so we like to big give you a big congratulations of your new academic title ค่ะ that's a very congratulations thank you so much yeah I, I think it's the lucky one because that that committee who consider my academic position they I think they 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 do their their work so fast yeah I think, based on I think the, based on that Your hard work over the past five to ten years finally paying off in a big way, and we're very, very yeah. happy. Congratulations! Thank you so much, Cap Ano. Thank you so much. <laughs> And not only Ajahn Popna, the one that being awarded, Naka, we also have our Dean, Naka, Assistant Professor um, Tirawat Hangsaprut, Naka. Now he also become Associate Professor as well. Okay, so really big congratulations to our Dean. And followed by, we have um, another two brand new Assistant Professor, which is uh, uh, Dr. Roshita t e v y a k u n and also uh, Ajahn t o n t i p Naka, j i r a t a m r o n g k a So congratulations to everyone. Everyone for the new academic title. That's something that we have to feel really happy about our faculty member that you know keep on achieving something great, n a k a But not only that, we also have someone here <laughs> also being awarded, n a k a Awarded as a something called a best um, young global leader of the year. Ah, who's that? It's a j a n a r n o Congratulations! Can you tell us about this award, a j a n a r n o So um, I was awarded uh, by uh, Twitters, which is a university based in Africa uh, with French connection, um, for my contribution towards entrepreneurship and also academia. Um, um, after uh, speaking at their conference, it was quite a massive surprise. I didn't expect it, um, but I'm very grateful. Um, as I said, unexpectedly grateful, and um, yeah, it also just shows that what I've been putting in over the course of the past five, six years is, is paying off. So, paying off. So it was quite, um, as I as I said, surprising, but um, yeah, I was, I'm very, very grateful for it. Really, really, um, very pleased that um, you actually one of the best, you know, like um, considered like a global young leader because it's not easy to earn this award. I know. No, that's why I was so surprised. <laughs> no, you deserve to get this kind of reward. Yeah, yeah, you deserve yeah. To. You deserve it. You deserve Thank it. You. Thank you. I yeah. appreciate it. So now, another news. That <laughs> another achievement. Actually, um, we have our associate professor, Dr. Wisnu Pong Poti. 
ิรุตนะคะ the one who become a best reviewer of the year as well อันนี้ is that alright that อาจารย์ป๊อปคุณ you share how is that like um you know behind this award I mean like how did actually um become a a reviewer and become a the best reviewer ค่ะ in in term of researcher if you publish in the in the in the best journal you become the best researcher and then in the process to to publish the paper yeah they need the reviewer he's the top one in that mm. journal last year mm. and then that journal is in that score part for taiwan so wow. it's mean one of the best journal in his area yeah wow. he used to be the best researcher in that in that journal and then last year he become the best reviewer in that journal he's a he's a somebody now wow. I, i i i i would say that he is no longer nobody he is somebody <laughs> in this country actually in this continent already a chan visinupo I would say in academic world, na ha. Yeah. So he considered yeah. like a top notch up there, become a a a um a great uh, contributor as well as a reviewer because of the journal called International Journal of Public Administration is an easy task to do. Uh, this discipline and at Scopus and Web of Science as well. Wow. Um, you have to be really skillful and also um being accepted and uh, accepted by um by the academias by the 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 others reviewer too, right? Shemi ha. Yeah. So congratulations and again proud, really proud to our faculty member, na ha. Yeah. So this is something that I like to just share about uh, all the achievement. I mean, like this is just part of it. But also, I just like to share that we also uh, recently we have like visitors, na ha, visitors from uh, our international partners. I know this so you can support us. Now we have like a yeah. uh, three, I think three visits for past couple of months, three, right? I know three visits within the first ten days of of the year. So no? <laughs> yeah. It's overwhelming, yeah. Yeah, very overwhelming. But I mean, it was just, it, it was very, uh, as I say, like we we're very glad that it happened, and we we're very glad that the the, the year 2023 kicked off so so quickly and so effectively, um, um, so productively. Sorry, um, uh, compared to what I actually expected, having two yeah. three universities visit us, two from Indonesia and one from Malaysia. Yeah, um, faculty visits, getting our students involved. Yeah, um, shows that that we really started 2023, uh, mm. 2023 very well, and I'm very very um, mm. uh, excited for what is to yeah. come the rest of the year. Yeah, the one that from Indonesia is uh, Ganesha College, right? The College of Economics. They're actually coming in and also, you know. Bringing the postgraduate student and present their papers here. Basically, they actually using our platform to conduct their colloquium. They want to hear our um our our faculty member to give a feedback to their uh, research paper. This is something uh, great to take this kind of initiative because not just visit, right? Not just just MOU signing, but something you know can really contribute to to both uh, beneficial to both side, you know. So this is what we're looking for always, no? Something that keep us uh, collaborate, like actively collaborate and contribute to academics, uh, academic and activities, yeah? Mm -hmm. Curriculum and non-curriculum, yeah. So um, just now we were mentioning about one of the uh, Indonesian institution. We also have Aramanya from Indonesia as well. And then we also have from uh, UITM, right, Ano? Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, so all these visits, um, I, I believe that uh, because of they are actually looking into the um, collaboration in terms of uh, not only the, um, the student like uh, studying in class, but also the research and other academic services. Okay, um, now it actually more into um, the level of professors, uh, professors or uh, contribution that could benefit to one and another, like what Ajahn Bob uh, mentioned as well for the professor visit. That that's, that would be great. That um, not only just um, having um, you know international partner just come in for the um, you know like um, like 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 like, like a, a academic affairs alone, but uh, for the research component and also academic service as well. I think this is something we are looking for. 
account. So that's about it. That this is just a very selective uh, news and achievement that we done. Okay, we have many more, a hundred of them actually. So I, anyway, I just like to. Um, uh, this is gonna be the part that I like to PR about, and also uh, that's why we have a Nong Tang or Khayani Nakha. Uh, to share to us what exactly um, students do. But before that, I just like to say that uh, this is part of work integrated learning activities that our faculty really focusing on. Um, we, we need to make sure that the work integrated learning activities it's basically spread in every subject, and also the student can have the experience working with industry directly. So this is the course. Uh, this is actually uh, like a joint course with a couple of the courses, and uh, we have the industry partner that actually basically give us some grant and get the student to work on it. Okay, the actual amount of the budget as well. So we have both in kind and cash support. So thank you for the ICC International Convention Center that support this activity as well. So this is considered like one of the activities only that we like to uh, share and promote. So Nong Kayani Khatang Oha, can you please share to us what you gonna organize about? Uh, uh, of course, the name is Falling in Food. Okay, Shemai. Okay. Yes. okay, share to us, please. Okay, we're gonna have food festival soon. It's called Falling in Food Festival. The big event that we comply, the famous international food, such as Japanese, Korea, French, and another food here, including a lot of activity like make bento love sets, eating challenge, compassion, and we also have other events here like summer sweet and a festival of this year, then had a learning fair. Please come and join us. You will get that base tasting group here. This event will have on 23 to 26 February from 10 to 8 p.m. Thank you so much. Come to Joy Falling in Food Festival. See you soon. Very good, Katang. Oh, good, good job, ha. Although, although um, we have um just now she mentioned uh, only certain countries, but we have more from South African too. <laughs> yes, I don't know. We have a menu from South African as well. It's a barbecue, right? I don't know. Uh, so, much, do that? so much, so much pressure on me. So <laughs> much pressure on me to deliver some, some delicious African food. But I've been Nana, do you have a uh, that food from Korea? We have from Korean as well. What do we have at Tang Or? What yes, food from Korea? Ah, uh, Bonchon and uh, Tteokbokki. Yes, Tteokbokki is Korean wow. food. It's famous. I yes. have to go to this event for sure. <laughs> I love Tteokbokki. Yeah, we we invite like uh we invite the the restaurant uh, that are really signature of each of the international food class. So you definitely gonna see the selective um shops that we choose, and most of them from Hat Yai and Song Klan. Uh. Uh, that's good. That's perfect. Yeah. That sounds yeah. good. Mm. On top of that, um, we have a talk show and a food demonstration by Ajanano, South African food, and the Filipino food. Look at Ajanano. <laughs> Special. Anyway. Okay, I cheer you up. I know. I, was, I cheer you up. I was highly, <laughs> highly encouraged by one person to do it. Highly encouraged. So much so that it caught me off, uh, 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 caught me off by a surprise the other day. So, Yeah. Okay, okay, oh, calm down. We're definitely going to see you there on the stage. Now we're going to prepare the whole stage for you. Naha, it's going to locate in Convention Center from 23rd up until 26th. Naha, Jan Kim, please come and, and enjoy our International Food Festival. Naha, thank you, Tang all. You have done a pretty good job. Naha, we are looking forward to uh, your, I mean, like how you organize this kind of event. It's International Food Festival is considered like a um, national level nah? uh, because we're gonna invite like a whole country and also we expect Malaysian to join us as well I mean Malaysian tourists nah? joining us in that event as well so good job and good luck and I wish you all the best we wish you all the best for your event and hopefully successful one nah? thank, thank you, you very so, much Kat. thank you so much see you there everyone thank you for uh, this event falling in food okay thank you so much ah, 
สวัสดีค่ะโอเคค่ะ so that would be about it or no this is from uh uh this from my side which about uh you know what we done in our faculty and as you can see we try to showcase our students abilities and skills and of course that we try to create a platform like uh you know not only the outcome based learning that we try to do uh but also the the uh create a actual anecdote the real life work experience for the students too not only just you know like particular discipline we need to make sure that we you know cooperate with other discipline too this is considered like one of the example that our faculty try to push forward and try to do even better Naka. so thank you very much for my sections that that would be all if you all like to follow up with our uh, news you can actually visit our faculty of management science facebook or website Naka. Uh, so i just like to pass uh, this to ajan i know for english vocabulary ka. Vocabulary list. Right. Um, I think that's only a few of the activities that we've done so far. I think we could you would probably be able to speak on for another hour for but um about, about all of these activities that we've been doing over the past few months. All right, so next we move on to part two of the of our um, podcast. And as per usual, it's our vocabulary vocabulary and uh, phrases section, English vocabulary and phrases, and it's all related to a John Pop's specialty, which is uh, CSR, sustainability and accounting. So all of the phrases are related to, to this specific industry and this specific sector. So let's jump right into it. What is the first term or first word that we have today? Um, one that we that has become increasingly uh, more important and popular over the course of about 20 years or so, corporate social responsibility or CSR. So what is the definition of CSR? So a self-regulating business model that helps a company be socially accountable to itself, its stakeholders, and its public, and its public. So, Ajanana, CSR activities. I think this is something that that you promote quite often through our PR PR activities. Correct. Yeah, for the corporate social responsibility, it's basically like to uh, need to emerge in every business that we do. Also, the education institution too. It's part of like consider like a global um concerns nah? so that means that uh, we have to make sure that we uh apply this practice in everything that we do okay so um from my side that um uh since we're involved with uh not only um uh the the students that we have to teach but we also need to make sure that they uh keep their skill and sustain basically we call it as a lifelong learning but we have to make sure that we using the indicators nah, like uh, the indicator number four eh, for example the education like a quality of education eh, for example but that would be something to do with the uh um what do you call that right sdg but what importantly for the corporate social responsibility when it come to uh, my program we also have the um, corporate social responsibility integrated uh, into the whatever activities we do as well the, like for example the falling in food just now i just going to continue promoting in that uh, that event we connect uh connect ourselves connect ourselves with the i can't get it uh, so uh, any, uh, let's say the, the bento she mentioned just now we're going to have a bento activities right so each day we have to make sure that we clean all the fresh food right but then again uh if we uh if we cannot uh finish it all we we actually deal with the akhan yen sira that we just gonna make sure that we're gonna pack the special bento pack you know minimum of like 10 boxes now each day we can actually contribute to them too so this is something that we talk about the um uh contribute to uh, uh uh our business to the stakeholders and the communities and the public this is just one side of it maybe ajan pop can uh, elaborate further in in other aspects please so actually i was going to ask the next the next term is very much related to it so i was going to ask ajan pop um to elaborate a little bit further because csi and sustainability which is the second term that i have here um is very much related to one another or go hand in hand with one another so when we think about sustainability, it re refers to the ability to maintain or support a process continuously over time. So, Ajahn Pop, when you think of the word sustainability, what 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 comes to mind? Actually, if you look like a think what business want to have is a profit, 
no not profit maximize profit you know i know right so <clears throat> business would like to do everything to get higher and higher profit day by day that higher profit they have is in terms of economic development so when they have the economic development they are gonna create two big problems which is uh, impacts in area or in terms of society and environment. <clears throat> so it means if I talk fair enough, it means every economic development by business create that environmental and social impacts. That's why company or uh, business need to take that kind of responsibility. That's why the word obvious are all the time come together with sustainability. So if business would like to develop the economy, they have to take care of society and environment as well. Mm -hmm. So that's why in my opinion, the uh, definition of uh, sustainability or sustainable development is how the business try to balance between the economy society and the environment mm -hmm. that about that, me that has related to the triple bottom line correct jump up right great brilliant thank you very much for the explanation that's perfect um i'm gonna give you one more uh jump up because this is very much accounting related and i'm gonna get to give the next one to begin now the third <laughs> one that we have here the third one that we have here is cooking the books cooking the books using accounting tricks to make the company's financial results look better than they really are. Is there anything that you can share with us like related to cooking the books, Ajahn Pop? Cooking the book is uh, to make that beautiful number yes. than the reality one. Correct. That is a Correct. cooking the book. So if you Mean, think about if, For to... example, why, 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 for example, if I run the business and you guys are investor, I want you guys to buy my, my common stock. And then last year, oh dear, my profit is super low. You guys will not interesting to buy common stock for my business for sure. What can I do? Ah, cooking the book. Make my profit a little bit higher. Buy something not nice, bit wrong. And then make my profit from the actual like this to be big like this. And then motivate or invite I know. You see my profit is highlighted. Do you think... <laughs> Do you interest to buy my common stock? Maybe because uh, for the investor, you would like to have dividend, right? Right. right? As an income, as a your revenue dividend. So any dividend come from the profit. As much as you get business, get high profit, you get high dividend. That kind of bird we call cooking book. All right. Right. If you think about companies such as Enron and um, also Lehman Brothers, right, during the 2008 economic crisis, this is uh, exactly uh -huh. what they did. I know the good yeah. idea about Enron. Enron is the cheating, not just only business. That is cheating between business and uh, auditor. Right. Yes. For me, for me, for me, for example, if I learn business, same. Uh, uh, basically, Auditor have to prove the number, whether the number of profit I provide is right or wrong. If it's wrong, they're going to make me fix to be right. Mm. And they, they're going to sign something on the auditing report. This is a right the number. This is a right uh, financial statement of this business. But in terms of Enron, I own business. I pay money for my auditor as well. Right, yeah. Behind the scene. Mm -hmm. They get my money behind the scene, and they did right. This company profit is right, mm -hmm. but yes. it was wrong. Actually, it's right. wrong. Yeah, All right. That's right. why the end one happened because the investor they don't know the real number of profit, so they invest with uh, not much enough knowledge or with the fake number mm -hmm. company provide. That kind of Enron story, I know. Then they defrauded everyone involved, correct? Correct. Yeah. Thank, <laughs> thank you very much.
I hope you're all right. You're right. You're Great right. explanation, Tom. I thought you, I thought you might have enjoyed this conversation. That's why I got this. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> all right. So next we have ESG. The game ESG refers to the environmental, social, and governance information about a company. What do you think of when you think about ESG, the game? Uh, for, for me, for, for ESG, actually, I do not familiar with this kind of word, no, because it's quite far from my discipline for me. You know? uh, but how, however, however, for, for ESG, if, if it stands for uh, environment, uh, social and government actually is already included in uh, the business or marketing environment for sure. And it's gonna be the basic or the foundation of uh, CSR or to do something that to be uh, best for both society and the company and for all. That, 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 that is my opinion because as I said, this, this, this one is far from my expertise, but people maybe have something to say about this ESG. Huh? One that 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 bumblebee transform from that car to be robot. Mm -hmm. CSR transform itself to be ESG. Mm -hmm. So this is another form of CSR. Yeah. So it's mean like a, one you said CSR. Yeah, you super cool 20 years ago. But today, in today's world, you talk about CSR to other I know. People gonna say, this guy come from which year? Yeah. something like that yes, you know what yes, i mean at the time. moment we call esg how different between esg and csr is that <clears throat> esg come with mandatory thing mm -hmm. normally csr come with voluntary for example yeah. in area of accounting yeah one you're going to provide csr that listed company have voluntarily report csr mm -hmm. Yep. But for now on ESG, listed company mandatory disclose that ESG information. Right. And so ESG in my understanding is a mandatory CSR. Mm -hmm. For example, I think I, I can give you a little bit more detail. At the moment, listed company in Thailand have to provide a carbon credit, whether they spread the carbon. Yeah. to that air pollution, uh, how many kiloton per year, for example, this is a mandatory. Listed company cannot hide to provide, mm. have to provide because they have to do this under the regulation of Thailand. And if they if they carbon credit are, are quite low, then they get subsidized money from the government, correct? If I'm not mistaken, because that's yeah. that's what makes Tesla such a one of the this, the reasons they are so successful is people often don't realize how much the American government subsidize uh, how much money they subsidize to Tesla, and it's in the billions of dollars, right? And that's also one of the one of the reasons, yeah, as I said, why Tesla is such a successful company because of the low carbon credit, right? Low uh, emissions and so forth, right? Great, thank you very much, Bob Miguel. And then the last one, uh, Bob, last one, which is very much related to the previous one, sustainable accounting. <laughs> For a practice of measuring, analyzing, and reporting a company's social and environmental impacts. I think you already mentioned that just now when we took, when you spoke about it, uh, ESG, correct? So anything else that you can share with us regarding uh, sustainable accounting? Yep, yep. When we talk about that, that carbon credit, what I mentioned before, now that, Carbon credit can look like a can recognize as a asset or debt of business, and then if business show that that how many carbon credit they provide per year as a ton per kilo, or uh, they can reduce the carbon credit how many ton per year, for example. So it means they have to account into the, the general ledger. So when the account is being, this is a sustainability, a sustainable accounting. So something that they impact to the environment and society, they have to write down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? So this kind of thing, this kind of number, this kind of amount of money yeah. gonna affect their profit. Mm -hmm. 
So that's why when we talk about sustainable uh, aquatic at the moment, it is the uh, effect between economy, environment, and society together. So that's why at the moment, one we call that corporate profit. That is a real profit. It's not profit by the economy anymore. That is a profit by, for example, profit by environment. What, what the effect. Carbon credit is a good idea. Next is the society. It's going to be big for me if I run the business. For that, for that, for that legal label and then illegal label. If I buy for illegal label, I'm going to get higher profit, right? Because I pay less. For example, if I hire that, 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 that label from our neighbor country, yeah. cheaper than in here. For example, in here every day, 300 baht. Neighbor country, we pay 200 baht per day. So it's been, if I pay for Thai people too, I can pay for our neighbor country three. Yeah. Right? So it's mean I'm going to get higher profit. However, I cannot do this in today's world because of ESG. So it's mean my profit going to be dropped down dramatically, but that is a real. Because yeah. of my real profit, this number affect by economy, society, and environment. That's why we call this as sustainable accounting. Right. Thank you very much. Um, I want to ask you. Um, so, so these migrant workers from Myanmar and um, also what Cambodia and so on, if they are legal workers in Thailand, do they have to get paid through a bottle? You can you still pay them less? Actually, even even though they they they, they come from those country you mentioned. They can they can do the legal one. First thing first, they can do the legal one. They yeah. can make look like a work permit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to work in Thailand. Because in this country, we still need to have that low skill labor a lot. For example, in Phuket Island, I know I would like you to go during that 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 festival, for example, Songkan Festival coming soon. You can see like a, that construction project, that house project there. Actually, we run by our our neighbor country labor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, brother, sister from Myanmar, yeah. they go back to Myanmar during that time. You can see no one worked there. Mm -hmm. So most of that normally they are that 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 legal one, mm -hmm. the legal one. But the illegal one, of course, they come, they hide, they come. They got low pay. Is this not good? And then uh, that is a kind of gray color of this country as well. So actually, they have that good channel to to come. They have good channel to come to get the work permission. Look mm -hmm. like a work permit visa. They can do that. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. So I know one of my friends. His family owns a fisheries company, like uh, catching fish, and they've got a lot of people, oh, legal Myanmar and Laotian workers working for them. Thank you very much, Bob. Really appreciate your input. Right. Like, well, uh, really like uh, having a really appreciative of having an, an accounting and sustainability expert with on our team. So that that brings the conclusion to our, to our English language session. And um, thank you very much, everyone, for contributing. And now we can move on to the next session. Vocabulary list. Thank you. Okay, crap. So next session gonna be mine. Oh, actually, for the CSR in the Accounting perspective is quite quite far from my <laughs> discipline. <laughs> that that why I I I cannot say anything <laughs> because I I have no idea at all. <laughs> but it is very interesting. Game, actually, the CSR is not run by the accounting. Actually, the Chai, CSR yeah, run by yeah, the whole business. Yeah, everything right, run right. by the CSR. For example, uh, even the marketing, your marketing. Right. right. Yeah. When you when you try to make a better sales, you need CSR yeah. as well. Yeah. Right. But but nowadays we we move further than CSR. We mm -hmm. we focus on the CSV that from creating share value. Uh, that 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 we right, think right. uh the CSR just just uh some something that we need to share to the society after we we ready okay when, when the company ready so you you you, you can do the cs but for, for cs we is like uh you need to 
satisfy all the stakeholder like the company the society the government or whoever that get involved with your company and how to show that you responsible to the society and responsible to your employee too so, so something like that so uh last semester that i uh, teach uh, the marketing research course most of uh the entrepreneur need my students to change from CSR to CSV, but I think that it's, it's quite tough for the student <laughs> to understand those ideas. Okay, so but, but actually CSR, as, as Jan Bob said, it is for the whole company, but, but for today, maybe some, some part we, we focus on the accounting perspective, so that, that's why I said it's far from, from, from my expertise. Okay, okay so next, uh, welcome back to my session, I have this talk. Uh, with me as a game, and uh, the previous section, we, we just talked about uh, the work cap that relate to the CSR and about some sustainability and accounting that as a pop join us and give us a lots of idea and very interesting information. Uh, however, I, I think that this section gonna be for Ajan pop to extend more about the detail of the CSR in terms of how to implement, how to set up in the company who need to, to do the CSR or sometimes, I guess, they got, they, there are somebody here or some of our audience just think that, okay, we do not need the CSR. So correct or incorrect. So we're gonna uh, ask Ajahn Bob Nakab. So I need to, uh, I would like to invite, uh, uh, sorry, I would like to introduce my audience Nakab, to Associate Professor Matana Chai Sutipan again, Nakab. And we start with Ajahn Bob, can you please uh, introduce more detail about yourself to our audience? Uh, oh dear, I have, <laughs> work here for nearly 20 years. I know, yeah, nearly 20 years. Um, that, yeah, I just see Ajahn here. I just see mean uncle. Yeah, <laughs> call your language, yeah. Uh, I'm graduate here. Uh, I study bachelor degree here, master degree in Kasesat University. And then I got PhD from the University of Newcastle, Australia, married already. Yeah, have no kid, got <laughs> one cat. Yeah, so if you can hear meow meow sound, is not other people cat, my cat sound. Yeah, and then anytime when I teach well or I talk well, she's gonna come to joy. Yeah, to remind other that I'm here, feed me now. Don't care what are you doing. Yeah, that my cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear her sound now. For the yeah, floor. and, and uh, actually, people uh, has a cooking skill for Korean food too, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I need something like a like a deep taste food. Yeah, because a Korean food I cook is just like a twelfth taste. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. My my wife at the moment she she run her own clinic in Austin area. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, something about me uh, or oh, actually I should not talk uh, talk much about family yeah actually my wife would like to hide this yeah have to talk about my work at the moment I work as a, a deputy director of the research and development office yeah my work is in the area of humanity and social science I would like to increase that research and the number of that researcher in PSU. Yeah, and then I believe that no matter which hair color you are, yeah, <laughs> we can be that top researcher. I think one of the PSU top researcher in area of humanity and social science is uh, one of my best friends, Ajahn Dr. Vishnu Pong Poti Pirut. He is a kind of top one in this world. So, dear, I didn't talk about me. I talk about my friend again. Sorry. Yeah, that's all about <laughs> me. Yeah, thank you. 
but that that all about you okay yes. so and that i think that we, we should back to to focus to to other <laughs> uh issue for today okay uh, actually right. as i said uh previously ajan pop already joined and give us some idea about the csr okay but for now i think that ajan pop can give us more detail about uh what actually is the csr or corporate social responsibility in more detail All right. Okay. So based on the academic idea that CSR come from what activity and action that business have to do for serving the stakeholder, mm. right? And then if you think about stakeholder, long long time ago, business thought that there are only three stakeholder in their hand, which are Investor, creditor, shareholder, only that. But I know, as you know, not only three, right? How about customer? How about labor? How about governance? How about society? Groups, environmental groups, yeah. social media yeah. groups. Right. Yeah, teaching, yeah, I'm yeah. Teaching proper yeah. communication. Environmental lob lobby, right? So Lobbying from now important. on, yeah, from now on, why CS are important? Because that group of people, business, need to care. Suddenly become bigger, become mm -hmm. bigger, and what they care, they concern, they need all about society and environment. That become what is CSR. Mm, okay, so it is it, more focused and and more uh straight to the point in order to clarify the CSR. Uh, based on uh your detail, k a p i p o p I think that. Some of our audience still say that okay, we are just a small company. So in order to show our responsibility, so first we show that we respond to ourselves and respond to our employee and try to make profit to survive in the industry. Okay, uh, so I think that some some guys still are curious that uh, is CSR for the big company only or it is necessary for small company. Uh, as as that company. Provide the impact for environment and society. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter big or small. That company right. needs CSR. a j a n Game, can I give you for example, c u p If for example, sure. I run the hotel in Phuket Island. Uh huh. I don't Your care own about hotel, environment. Right? Yeah, yeah. So for for example, I I own the hotel. I run the hotel in Phuket Island, and then I don't care about about environment. I pour mm. that that that. Garbage water, that toxic water to the sea day by day. I don't mm -hmm. care that small for my for my hotel kitchen. Don't care. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly, that sand, that sea, the air around my area is gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What can I do? Because if that tourist don't come, I say that I don't care who get. I gonna move to Bali Island, a j a n g a m e I have to invest more. Because I cannot take all of my hotel from Phuket Island to Bali, Bali. Island, right? I have to spend money again. So that's right. why, no matter you big or you small, if your mm. business affect environment and society, you need CSA. Okay, so so that that's quite clear that all. Size of company, okay. You you need to to use a CSR or try to apply uh, the CSR concept. I'm, I'm not I'm not quite sure. This is a uh, the right or wrong to talk like this. Size is not m e t t e r in this in in I, this. I, I think in, it's in this right idea. correct. Yeah, right. I think it's it, it's definitely sure that that some whether you small or big, okay, for sure you need to show that you respond. Uh, you, you're responsible to the society or other stakeholder as always. How, however, uh, for for the big and small company, actually their business performance is quite different, right? So, in order to apply or implement the CSR concept into their business, I 
for for myself, I assume that you you, you can apply the idea of CSR differently based on the size of business. So can can you show us some example of how the difference between uh, SME or small company to use CSR from the uh, the big company or the big player in the industry, Kapi Pop? I, I I feel in my opinion, I feel uh ordinary business especially mm -hmm. small business they pick up the wrong csr for right. their company for example uh -huh. if i try to justify csr actually there are two csr first mm. we call csr in process mm. the last we call csr after process normally the business mostly that small business pick up csr after process into the mm -hmm. operation. Ajahn Kim, for example, you run that factory in north of Thailand. You make the CSR. You to, to take your staff from north of Thailand to south of Thailand to make mm -hmm. that 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 C for it, for example. That, that is the CSR after process. It's not linked to your production process at all. That is a super poor CSR, but mm -hmm. why company would like to do that? Because they would like to promote themselves, to show mm -hmm. themselves right. to that news, uh, to show this photo or picture on the newspaper. Right. <laughs> yeah, but actually that that real CSR is in the first class mm -hmm. as a CSR in process. Why CSR mm -hmm. have to be in your production process? Because for the long term, you gonna get this is uh, for sure. You gonna get higher profit for sure in the long term. Of right. course, Ajahn game. If you are going to buy a uh, uh, emulsifier machine for the water, for example, mm -hmm. from the first four five year, you gonna lose money a lot for sure, right? right. But after right. that, year six, year seven, year eight, until year twenty you're going to get real profit. Then that that called sustainable profit. Mm -hmm. So in my opinion, I feel this case study is quite classic. I yes. saw by my eye yeah, some factory from north of Thailand come to south of Thailand to look like a, to let the fish go on, to let that, that dugong go on. And then I ask, why you do like this in here? Why you don't do into your factory? Yeah, right? Society or community nearby you. Why you come here? I said, they said that to me, like, a, I would like to have holiday. I take my staff to have holiday here. So we make this kind of, of thing as a new. This kind of thing mm -hmm. is not that real CSR. We call fake CSR. Right? <laughs> Look like a, how to call in marketing PR, right? PR? Yeah, PR. PR, yeah. yeah. But but actually, most most of the CSR that we see nowadays, it, it just uh, after process. As, as, after as process. Yes, after okay. process. Yeah. But, but uh, for for me now, I think that some of our audience still curious that what what is the in process and after process? Can can you huh. explain more? Okay. Yeah. It, it, it's example, quite interesting. If you if, yeah 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 yeah. If 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 you think about that framework of the production. Production mm -hmm. come from the input, put or input mm -hmm. into the process, right? And then become output, right? Or finished good or service. This process is what you put CSR into. Mm -hmm. For it's example, yeah, 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 yeah. For example, I will not use in legal label in mm -hmm. the process. I gonna put legal label in the process. Doesn't matter Thai label or neighbor label. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I yeah. I'm going to buy that quality raw material. I will not buy that poor or toxic raw material mm -hmm. because uh, at the end of the day, customer is going to take that kind of product, right? I don't want them to complain me. I don't want them to sue me that I have to sure. pay next year much more than maybe money that I earn this year, for example. That is CSR in process, in, in process. the production process. Yep. Ah, okay. So after process is like when you have profit, you just share what, some profit. After process is mean when you have that 
that product already you have served it already yeah. right yeah after process for example i'm not quite sure look like uh, some product that you say that this product love the environment but you don't explain yeah. more how you love the environment that is a just solid you know when you are a girl and then a guy come to first you and then they, oh i'm a good guy i don't smoke i don't yeah. smoke cigarette yeah, yeah i term. don't drink much at night time but just only speaking right yeah another term yeah. another term they use for this is greenwashing right greenwashing where companies say they are environmentally friendly and then when people start or professionals start doing investigation they realize that oh no they're not using any sustainable product practices we see this with retailers such as H&M, Zara, and so forth, where they've been in trouble multiple times for saying mm -hmm. that they are sustainably friendly, but they're not. So they're greenwashing, essentially, just stating through public relations activities, like we said, through yeah. PR, that they are green companies, <laughs> they are using green processes, but when they start getting, when they get investigated, many professionals realize, oh, wait, they're not, they're not sustainable at all. And I think sustainability mm. is once again a word that we have to associate with um, with CSR activities. And if I can add in a little bit, um, if you think about sustainable business practices, the best employees want to work for the sustainable businesses. Customers want to buy from sustainable business sustainable businesses. Communities are happy with sustainable businesses. The government is happy with sustainable businesses. So it affects all of these stakeholders. So sustainability, yeah, and CSR activities go hand in hand. So yeah, that's, I just wanted to add that in. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. That, 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 very interesting. Yeah, right. right, right. And so based on what 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 we are trying to inform our audience, I I curious that now someone kind of say that okay, in order to take to show the responsibility, we need to pay something or sometimes if we work in process, so our process gonna be more cost or higher cost. So if our company need to spend money to do the CSR or, you, or apply the CSR concept. What is the benefit for the company? Okay. Uh, that, that is a kind of a good question. And then company like to ask me as well in terms of accounting mm -hmm. research. And then ask me, Ajahn, why we have to spend that much money for CSR? And then we got nothing. I would, I, would, would like to say that uh, when you do the for CSR, you have to spend money. That money that you spend is not spent for donation. That is investment mm -hmm. money, right? Okay. You invest that money to get high profit for long term. Mm -hmm. Long term, long term success compared to short short term. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, of yeah, yeah. Companies yeah. don't realize that, like when yeah, you pay yeah. short term success, that's not sustainable at all. Like it's very important. Like, and if I can add into the startup, like you mentioned about uh, SMEs and startups earlier, if a startup, if a startup implements sustainable business practices from the start, from the beginning, right, mm. they're going to reap the reward, eventually the rewards in the next five, ten years, right? Set for uh, compared to a startup that, that does not do that, and at the end they they have to reevaluate their whole business, right, and then start implementing. Implementing sustainable practices and that on the, in the in the long term, I think is quite unsustainable. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. I give you a chance game. For example, if you look after kid, mm. for sure, no parent said that. Why my kid don't earn me a money within first five year? <laughs> right, 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 right. You can ask Ajahn Nana two kid now. You see, right? Ajahn Nana, we not we not we not willing like a, Oh, why my kid don't go to work? She is four year old now. CSR like that. CSR like that. Yeah. So so actually we need to think for the long term, not the short term period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, in but, in area of economic, we call CSR is that benefit for normal profit. It's not that uh, that normal profit they call normal profit for that uh economic person. Mm -hmm. yeah. And 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 sometimes I, I think that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just can, 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 can I finish my sentence? Uh, why that normal profit is important, Ajanana? Because uh, if you get too high profit, look like you motivate that that competitor come to you earlier, right? Right. For example, mm -hmm. 
one Apple success to sell smartphone, a lot of competitors come mm. because they, they, they feel that, oh, Apple, Steve Jobs and his team got a lot of margin profit. I would like to take that as well. But if you make the profit become normal profit, you will not invite that competitor come like, oh, let they got money alone, it's all right, right? That money am not that interesting much, not that high, high. Mm -hmm. That is long-term successful. That's okay. why we call that is the sustainable successful. All right, sure. Kavatan Kev. That, that, that's a very good uh, conclusion for how, how to apply the CSR to all sides of the company. And, and okay, so before we say goodbye to our audience and before we finish this session, uh, can, can you confirm or guarantee that do company really need CSR? <laughs> uh, based on Ajahn Arno mentioned about ESG, uh, no matter they need or not, they have to do. Um, <laughs> because now CSR become that uh, uh the regulation. So it's been because uh it's been it's a a company under that regulation, they need to provide the CSR. Even, right. even, our, even our faculty with, with AACSB accreditation, the SDG goals, sustainable development goals, mm. it's something that we have to apply as well. And um, so it's not only in the private sector, it's in education, education, also in the government sector, right? So these uh, rules, these rules apply to all of them, all, all companies, no matter which sector you are in. Yeah. Sure. And then for that listed, for example, for the listed company in Thailand, uh, in terms of carbon credit, by 2030, the carbon credit have to be natural. Mm. One day, one day, take it out. They have uh, they have to take it in all, so that they call zero neutral. By two thousand fifty, they call zero. Uh, they call carbon zero. They cannot provide carbon at all. Mm. They cannot uh, spread that carbon at all, carbon zero. And then actually, based on developed country, there are seven. At the moment, for the CSR, after they call as an ESD, it's gonna mm. become the regulation in the in the future nearby for sure. Mm. For for environment, you got carbon credit already, right? Next, you are gonna get energy management, the new energy. You can see now, you can see the wind energy in Thailand. You can see that electric energy in Thailand. You got that for sure. You got the water management. Yeah, for sure. This 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 is gonna become a regulation. Last but not least, for environment is uh, the waste management. Yeah, mm -hmm. to reduce, to reuse, to recycle. Yeah, and then three for for the society is at the moment about uh, the money that you spend for your labor. Second, that 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 how many cases you got sued by customer. That what Ajahn Arno mentioned. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that is so include. You have to show, like a, for example, my business got 200 times sued by that customer last year, the super poor. Last but not least is uh, how many percent of your labor is disabled labor? Because mm -hmm. this is a, you look like a, you pay back to your society, right? You cannot support just only ordinarily. You need to support mm -hmm. all of the labor you have on your head. So seven for sure in the future. So, That's so why, why what Ajahn Games. Hmm. It's also why diversity, equity, and inclusion has become so popular, right? Also, so that's also part of I would say sustainable um, business practices, practices specifically internal to the organization. Yeah. Yep. Okay, that that a very informative talk for today with Ajahn Bob Nekrab. Thank you very much for. Uh, the detail about the CSR and to our audience cap who watch this program via our FMS YouTube channel or who listen uh, via the PSU broadcast ATS Megahertz. Right? So if you still have some question and you need some uh, consultation, right? please come to the FMS right? and talk with Ajahn Pop. Right? He's going to charge you with a responsible, uh, responsible price. <laughs> <laughs> 
โอเค so thank you very much today ครับอาจารย์ป๊อบครับ and see you next time for our next program นะครับ thank you everyone ครับ thank you so much ครับ thank you for having me on the show ครับสวัสดีครับ thank you very much ครับ thank you so much have a good day